Some people like to celebrate Taco Tuesday, but for us today, we're celebrating a different kind of Tuesday. Today's all about Tybalt Tuesday, and we're gonna be playing some Rakdos Sacrifice, which is the splash of Tybalt Tribals. Cue the intro, let's talk about it. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be playing a Rakdos sacrifice list with a little bit of a kick to it because we're going to be playing both forms of Tybalt in today's list. It's very exciting. I cannot wait to break this thing down, but as always, if you're new here to the channel and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, it is a free way to help support the channel and I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind hitting that button for me. It goes a very long way and I'd really appreciate that. With that being said, guys, let's jump into this quickly and we'll get into the gameplay footage because there is a lot of gameplay footage today so with today's list like i said it's a very traditional style of rakdos sacrifice we've got a, a a pretty you know solid early game package with the shambling gas deadly dispute kind of combos we've also elected to go with the fell stinger today for more card draw but it's also a 3-2 death touch body which is really sweet um i also wanted to really focus on going with the kalein um into the predator today that's kind of our main win con is that we're going with the kalein painter generating that early treasure and uh getting down a predator uh for some added buffed benefits and uh hopefully the predator will be just too hard for our opponents to remove due to its indestructibility um on the card um so very very classic Rakdos sacrifice list there here's where it starts to get a little spicy we added a new card into the deck we added sap vitality a card i've been wanting to try out for a very long time uh this is a nice little removal card for uh, for two it basically deals three damage just like a dragon's fire but at the same time we perpetually get to give our creature or any creature in our hand plus three plus oh so if we can get this to our predator on turn two and get predator out you know on turn four it's going to be an absolute monster to deal with so that's why sap vitality is in here we've also got the um curse bound witch this is going to offer us a really cool spell book uh with a lot of options but obviously the cat oven combo is the dream that's the combo you want to hit and uh, i personally have never seen anyone hit that uh, but a little bit of a spoiler alert we might have just done that today um so that's really fun we get this with uh, some cool sacrifice tools and uh you've got a really nice combo there uh we've also got blood on the snow obviously it's a snow package as you can see uh getting back our planeswalker you know tybalt is going to be key here uh we've also got both forms of tybalt in the deck we've got the new tybalt um really cool way to generate us some mana and also deal damage just removing things off the battlefield and of course we got the og tybalt cosmic imposter this is a nice little flex tool being a dual-sided card but at the same time the other side of it the planeswalker side is probably one of the most powerful planeswalkers we have right now hence why it costs you know seven to, to cast but this is a really fun deck man very you know very standard rakdos sack type of a vibe um but with these tybalts and some of these new cards going into the spell book it makes it makes it uh, you know just that much more fun so i hope you guys can enjoy today's list I had a blast playing it. We had some really good games with it. A lot of games uh, to go over today. So we're going to cut this a little short today and we're going to dive right into the gameplay footage. And after that, we'll meet back here for some final thoughts. Peace. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another sweet list for you today. It's going to be Rakdos. Rakdos is pretty OP um, when you're talking about things like the Predator. And I really wanted to give it a try. I haven't played the Predator in a long time. We've got a really solid opening hand here too, so easy keep for us we got some we got some ranking we got to get done here today we got to get back up in the higher 90 percentiles good old standard but no no worries that's not what today's about today's about grinding and having fun all right we're up against clerics here we go this should be interesting right out of the gate we're paired with the best of the best take some life off of them there nice and easy we got the deadly dispute it's gonna draw some cards curve us out a little bit more and uh we'll see what we can get here i do think i'm gonna take out that veteran even though when it comes back it still gets some value i still think it's worth killing here or do I want to create more treasure i think i still want to kill this i think the treasure i think one treasure here is just fine we do get the blood on the snow, which is what I was kind of alluding to on whether or not I wanted to get the extra treasure so we can get the blood on the snow out, but looks like it's not going to even be necessary. We've got another deadly dispute and 
Shambling Ghast, which is really nice. Okay. That's interesting. That's something you don't see every day. So this isn't a traditional Cleric's deck at all. Not if they're running something like this. That's an easy two. We take that all day. Now we take the treasure, of course. That's nice. Love that. We get the new card, the Vitality. This card is really, really cool. I can't wait to showcase this for you guys. So, um, it is instant speed. So we're going to wait till they attack, uh, with the Olenbach and then we'll go ahead and activate it. Um, giving one of the Fell Stingers perpetually, uh, more power. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Tough. Tough little situation I'm in here. Um, we can't find a Predator, which we really need. Either a Predator or a Tybalt is what we kind of need here. Alright, that's a little bit rough. Because whenever they gain life, they're going to get 1-1 one, one counters now put onto uh, to their creatures. Hopefully they try to commit uh, more to the Olenbach, but I don't... Yeah, they go for the Valkyrie. That's fine. They get the training. We blow that up, though. <clears throat> Our Felstinger gets perpetually 6-2, and it's got Death Touch. It's kind of huge. Um, We would have to eat one treasure for this. We would get back a Shambling Gas, which is a perfect target for us to sacrifice to our Felstinger. I think this is a good time as any to do this. Wish we had something better to bring back. That's the only thing, right? Wish we had better targets, but it is what it is. Skyclave Apparition. Well, how do you do? You're going to take my ability to draw cards, huh? Alright, and we just keep drawing a land. That's so unfortunate. Um, I think I'm gonna exploit my own fell stinger here. I need some cards. Another fell stinger. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but it is annoying. Wish that we had drawn something more than four lands, you know what I'm saying? Looks like our opponent's getting nothing but lands too, though, so that's kind of nice. I'll take it. I will block here if they want to attack with the Skyclave. I'm totally down for that. I will take back my Shambling Ghast, and then I could Fell Stinger that Shambling Ghast and give this negative 1-1. Uh, one, one. So that's huge. Or actually, I, get, I don't get my Shambling Ghast, do I? I get the token. I forget... Because no one ever plays Apparition anymore. It's always Brutal Cathar. So I'm actually only going to get a 1-1 one, one out of this. So I don't get to kill this. But it's still, I think, worth it to sacrifice with my Felsinger. Things on their end are getting pretty big. Okay, that's a card. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a card. About time. About time you showed up, Tybalt. Sure. The more blockers, the better. Let's protect that Tybalt with everything we got. Plus, plus, once we start plusing the Tybalt, we're going to be drawing a lot of clerics. So having this veteran down is going to be nice. We can start synergizing off with our own deck. Your deck is now my deck. Oh, they get back their Valkyrie. Oof. That's tough. And they get pumped up too because of the life that they have. Yikes. All right. No worries. No worries. We will kill it. It's just, uh, we got to top deck something here. Good. <laughs> Dang, that cleric class is pretty busted. All right. We draw another Tybalt. That's actually pretty wild. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm going to play the other Tybalt killing this. 
I hate throwing away this Tybalt for nothing, but I feel like killing that Valkyrie is very, very important. Plus, it becomes something we can play now. It's our Valkyrie now, so now things are going to start gaining us life. Oh, man. And we lose Tybalt. That's what I was really worried about, man. That was my biggest concern there. Now we don't have any more Tybalt's to play. Those are the only two in our entire deck. Aside from this Tybalt, of course. Which I don't mind playing right this second, actually. They're probably going to just take the three. I mean, they've got 36 life total. Why wouldn't they take the three? I'd be pretty shocked if they just let this die. Wow, they do let it die. Interesting. We'll play the Valkyrie. Gain a life here. And let's just start getting that life total back down. Just in case they top deck their own Valkyrie here. We can't have them pumping up their life total any further. All right. Let's see if you want to sacrifice that. This is a cleric, so we're going to gain two life plus the additional one. So three life off of this. Nice. Dang. Bad luck. All right, no worries. We're going to play this and gain the life. Yada, yada, da, da. Let's draw a card here. Not the card we wanted to see, obviously. We get two more. Again, not the cards we wanted to see. Um, am I willing to trade? I think I am. I'm going to attack here. I'm willing to trade these angels here. It's no big deal. It's not like they have graveyard effects, I don't think. Cosmos Elixir, are you kidding me? That is a really good card for them to draw right now because they get a ton of card draw now until I'm able to deal with the uh, life total. <sighs> Should I just get... I think I'm gonna go for an I'm gonna go for a devil. If I can get a hell rider, holy cow, that'd be crazy. Alright, no, no hell rider, but let's see. We've got at the beginning of a heap reveal the top card of your library, and opponent may have you put that card in your graveyard. If a player does, deals damage to that player equal to the mana value. Otherwise, put that card in your hand. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. And uh let's Fell Stinger. If I Fell Stinger the Veteran, they actually get that thing back in their side uh, because it has Disturbed. Steal some damage here. We've got to get them underneath that life total um, in order for them to stop drawing cards with the Cosmos Elixir. But it's not terrible because we are going to blend the snow if things get out of hand at any point in this game. That's what we're looking for. Okay, we should be able to overrun them now with this right here. We should be able to absolutely just decimate them with the Predator. That's kind of our main win con, and we just haven't seen it yet. So I'm glad we finally got the Predator here. Uh, we also got this uh, Prodder, which is pretty sick. At any point, Tibble can just uh, minus X. Okay, no, it can't. No, it can't. <laughs> well, there goes that. All right, they didn't get anything good off their Cosmos Elixir. That's nice. What is with my flood happening here? This is crazy. All right, they either got to take one or allow me to have this card. Seems like a pretty easy, easy decision to me. Just give me the card, right? Like, it's not that great of a card. But, I mean, they could be afraid of me sacrificing and stuff like that, obviously.
Wow, they put it in my graveyard. Interesting choice. Um, I think I want to get Tibble back. Hellrider. Ah, another sin though. That's pretty good. I get another one. That's a lot of damage and a lot of card draw. We're down to 25 cards. No need to worry about uh, dying here. Look at our beast of a hand here. You, 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 you. And we will start exiling their stuff. This feels good. Let's go. Pretty easy victory, I think, from this point forward. I don't think there's much our opponent can do here now. Uh, they're going to gain life now with the elixir instead of drawing cards, which is great for us. Uh, we do have to worry about things like Doomscar. I don't think a cleric's deck would run something like Doomscar, but you never know. I've seen stranger things before. I don't see how they survive this next turn. I'm surprised they haven't scooped yet. They must have something, I would assume. That's definitely going to the graveyard. Hmm? That's graveyard. <laughs> and that's scoops. I was just going to go ahead and plus Tybalt up to do three damage here. If they take it to their face, they, they lose the game. So they would have had to sacrifice that. They were toast. They were toast. GG. All right. Game one was buttery smooth. Can we keep that? Keep that same energy, baby. Let's go. Predator is off the hook. Okay. Now this is a much better starting hand. Well, it's not better than the starting hand we had. It's just, this is a good hand. And, uh, last game we didn't exactly have, uh, the best draws we had a good starting hand but our draws were all mana like we just kept getting flooded but should be okay this game and we get a dispute which is nice but i think we go for the painter here and then get the predator out next turn uh we have the vitality which is pretty cool but our opponent's running demir so i doubt they're gonna be playing creatures unless it's zombies it could be zombies Okay, that's actually a good target. That's not bad. That gives the predator uh, perpetually two more. And we get in for an attack here. And we can deadly dispute our ghast and be in really good shape here. Get the predator out for uh, two treasures and it'll be even bigger. I am afraid of things like fading hope, obviously. This is definitely going to be a Leer style deck, I would assume. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. That's not what I wanted to see there. That really put a wrench in my plans, huh? Well, looky, looky. Would you look at that? Coming in as an 8-5. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do, if I have an 8-5 indestructible, can avoid things like Blood Chief's Thirst, but I can't avoid Fading Hope, which is the real nightmare here. Not a lot of people have been running that card lately, because Is It Turns is not a thing in Alchemy. God. But, this looks like the type of person who might just be running that card. This could be a Leer deck. But you know what's also great about Predator is, if it's a Leer deck... We start zapping their graveyard from spells they can't recast. Don't know why they'd let that attack go through and then Fading Hope. Yeah, see, that's a big mistake. I don't know why someone would do that. Especially when, like, come on. We know they're a Leer deck. It has to be. There's no shot it's not. So it's like, why would you let that tap down and activate its ability to exile? I had a feeling it was Jawari Disruption, but I was like, why would they play it? And they did anyways, so that's really strange. If they activate some form of kill spell here too, that's going to be really bad. I don't know why they would play 
magic like this, but... <laughs> Meat Hook Massacre for three. We can handle this. All right. The reason you guys are you guys are probably wondering why I'm not taking those Jawari disruptions because they are technically uh, spells. When Leer comes out, they can't counter anything, anyways. All right. Well, this kind of stinks because our predator is now susceptible to removal. We have nothing to sacrifice. Uh, we tried to snack, uh, snap up something there on that draw, but we didn't get any sort of creatures. But their play here is a key of the ar or key to the archive, which taps them out completely except for the Celestis so unless they have a fading hope this game is over and it is over indeed wow okay well we kind of decimated that opponent and we're still at 91 what is going on here okay I guess it's gonna make us work for this rank today magic really must be trying to make me earn it now or or a lot of people must be in uh mythic by now it is getting late in the month so the more people, I think the more people that actually get into Mythic, the um, the harder it becomes to rank up. There's just more of a pool of people. Uh, which bums me out even more that we lost that huge ranking last night, man. I think we mulligan this. This is okay. It's not exactly what I'm looking for by any means, but I guess we can take it. Let's hope we can get there, man. Let's hope we can get there. A deadly dispute would be very much welcomed here. Okay, there goes that. That's unfortunate. That's something we can exploit. We can exploit itself, which is cool. And this is a dragon's deck. Okay. We're going to exploit this because it can't block dragons. It's, it's low to the ground. We need cards here. Blood on the snow is nice. It's not bad. It's something that we're going to inevitably need for sure. The predator is kind of cool. Um, obviously for some blocking, but if I can make it indestructible, it'd be much, much better. What do I do here? Do I exploit this again and then hope for, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like maybe we get the predator out and just make a, a chump block here against this and then keep working towards that blood on the snow, but man, I just don't know. I think that's the play though, because we can get the predator back with the blood on the snow if we find one more snow permanent land. So let's hope for the best here. I don't think the best is going to be in our favor, but let's hope for it. And they have Dragon's Fire. Oh, that's rough. That's actually pretty rough. Okay, well, I think we got absolutely mopped up here on this one. Boros Dragons. Boros Dragons is my favorite li uh, list, personally. I don't think we can do anything here with that land uh, this turn. And I stand corrected immediately. But it's fine. I couldn't have done anything with that anyways. I don't know what to do here. I, if I exploit this, I draw cards, which is what I need, but it's, it's a wrap, man. We take damage here. We get this down. They go over the top for eight. It's a GG's. Well, that was pretty much a beat down. Uh, we could have done better. Could have done a lot better based on our draw or, you know, based on, you know, anything else. <laughs> GG. All right, at least the loss was quick. We can move on right away. Somehow, I have a feeling we're going to be stuck in 91 this entire video, which is really odd. Let's see what our opponent does. All right, this is definitely keepable, actually. Only a two-lane hand, which I would normally try not to keep. But in this particular case, I will keep it because we have... A very nice one-two curve that's going to allow us to draw cards and ramp. 
Tybalt is cool. We're up against probably clerics if I had to take a guess. If I had to take a stab at it. Yep, clerics it is. All right. With that being said, we are going to block sack. I guess last game I, I just attacked into that, didn't I? The last time we played clerics. I guess it's there's no wrong answer. Actually, I think I did. I think I attacking was the right answer. I'm being honest. Wait, can they take non-token permanence? Okay. I couldn't remember if they could take uh, my treasure or not. They can't take to uh, tokens though, so we're chilling. I think ramping up to blood on the snow is going to be what we need to, need to be focused on here. Ooh, but we do have Tybalt already. Actually, you know what? Tybalt is not a bad play here because they don't have... Man, but that'll set us back on the blood on the snow hard. I could use Tybalt's ability though to add mana. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Tybalt has the ability to add two mana, so I might want to consider that. They're probably going to take it to the face here and then I can go ahead and cycle out a card here, which is nice. Oh wow, they let it die. Love to see that, honestly. Keeps our Tibble alive a lot longer. Yeah, so I can I can actually get Blood on the Snow out this next turn because I could play a land plus Tybalt, ignore the draft card that I take, and then, uh, okay. Ignore everything I just said. Everything I just said is absolutely irrelevant. We have a Predator, but I think I want to play... Actually, the Predator might be okay. The only things that they have are probably going to be exiling effects anyways, so we might as well try to get the Predator out, right? It's not like they're going to play like Blood Chief's Thirst, I don't think, or like Shadow the Sky, or Doomscar, I'm sorry, not Shadow the Sky. Doomscar. If they, if they kill Predator, it's going to be through some form of exile, so pretty safe bet here. And uh, it pays off. Looks like Predator is going to survive here. And let the exiling begin, which, I mean, not that cool against Clerics. Clerics don't really have a whole bunch of graveyard effects here. Might as well just get a treasure out of this, right? Or kill one of these veterans. I'm not going to kill these veterans, actually, because I've already chose a card I want to exile. So killing this veteran is only going to allow it to come back um, as a 1-1 one, one phantom. Wow, they're done. They didn't want to see any more. That's interesting. Let's go, 92, finally. I don't know how that's possible, but we'll take it. All right, let's keep it cooking. We're finally into the 92 percentile. Took long enough. Let's get this. Let's get these dubs, man. Can we get a 93? Can we get a 93? We're up against a 73. Oh boy, is this one of those people that just come in and then quit right away? All right, this is much better. Okay, I was a little worried there. A little worried there, but we got it. We figured it out. I think I'm gonna keep the witch actually. I, I kind of like what the witch offers um, in its spell book. Aside from the cat oven combination with the cauldron, uh, there are some other really cool cards in here. Mainly this mythic that we just saw right here. The cruel reality. That, that card's pretty sweet, man. Card is pretty bonkers. Up against clerics again. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Can we beat Clerics again? About to find out, I guess, huh? Deadly Dispute looking pretty sweet. <laughs> um, do you want to block, sir? Ma'am? No. 
No blocks. Is it blue or black? Or another white? Another white. So it could be mono white here. That's fine. It's actually the one I prefer to play against the most. It's honestly, in my opinion, the worst one, but... I think the Esper one is the best. The Esper clerics are just bonkers right now, man. All right, I think I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do here is just play the painter. Get out another treasure, get the, uh, you know, blood on the snow ready to go. Oh, hold on. Music, every time this, this playlist is short, this, uh, this like Christmassy one, it's really short and it just starts playing my random Spotify. All right, voice of the blessed. That is a card, that's for sure. Do we blood on the snow now? I don't really want to. If I'm being honest, don't really want to. So they need 10 counters to get indestructible. All right. I don't think I want to waste that either. All right, we'll just do it like this. We'll save the treasures. All right, deadly dispute. Interesting. No attacks. We keep the uh, voice of the blessed off of attacking though. Um, when does it get flying? Four counters. So at four counters, it's going to get flying. That's when we're really going to have to figure out if we're going to cast this blood on the snow or not. Um, hopefully they commit a lot more to the board here though. Two voice of the blessed. Can't be too upset about that. That's that's a steal. Being able to to hit two voice of the blessed is much better than just hitting one. So that's a pretty good steal there. And let's get in for three. And we blow up the board. And what is it that I want to play now, though? Do I want to play... Probably the Witch, because it's the best thing for me to dispute in Felstinger? Probably. If I can get the oven, I mean, we're online, so might as well give it a shot, right? Then we can go bonkers with the cat oven combo. I have yet to see anyone hit the cat oven combo ever. Like literally ever. If I do it right here and now, that'd be really sweet. I'd be pretty proud of that. Let's hope we can pull it off. We got two deadly disputes and a fell stinger, so plenty of ways we can sacrifice the witch. Oh no. And then of course there goes our cauldron familiar. Just like that. That's annoying. Or not. Okay. Or not. Let's do this first. See if we get the oven. If we do, we're going to regret not getting it right now. Oh, okay. All right, I guess we're gonna take that. It's not great, but we'll take it. Um, let's go painter first, and then let's give the predator a bunch of uh, counters here. And then the predator is going to be huge, and it has something that it can sacrifice to. So I feel pretty good about its survivability here. And uh, yeah, we're looking good, man. Looking really good. This can't attack anymore, so the cat is, should be safe. Predator should be safe. 
Oh wow, that thing creates humans too. This thing is really underrated. This thing is actually really good. The flash mechanic on it too. It's like, shoot, we might have to try that. We might have to make a flash deck with that thing. It's pretty nice. Um, whenever an instrument becomes tapped, exile target card, we have one counter on it. Okay, so if we give it Vigilance, it's not going to get that ability. Um... I still think we want to do it, though. What do I do here, ladies and gentlemen? What do I do here? This isn't... This isn't ideal at all. I think I'm going to fell stinger my painter here. And I'm hoping maybe I could top deck a vitality. A vitality would be really, really good. Then I could kill the moon dancer and I will be feeling a lot better about our situation. No vitality. I only do that for one. Alright, let's get another painter in here. I'm looking for vitality before that moon dancer becomes too big. I'm kind of rushing it and trying to expedite here. And I don't get rewarded for it. That's unfortunate. Alright. That's unfortunate. I do get to block this thing with the fell stinger at all times though. So, I mean, it, there is that bonus that we have death touch. But... It's just annoying that I wasn't able to find that vitality. <laughs> Could use a blood on the snow too. That would be really great. That's pretty sweet, man. This, this paired with that is really sweet. Making all your creatures able to just proc mana for you. Not bad. Double strike. Disturbed. Enchant creature has double strike. Okay. It's not bad. They can't attack. Nice. We don't get what we need. That's so annoying. Okay. do that let's do this oh I just I didn't do that all right we got Tybalt hey we got the combo we've got the combo baby all right, I almost forget how the combo works. Sacrifice a creature, create a food token. That's right. Okay, so we just got to sacrifice any creature here and we can get the cat back online. Let's go here. Let's not do it right this second. I think we want to do that more on instant speed. Let's attack here. Put him down to 12. Potentially looking at putting him to lethal. I may want to put Valky in here just to block. Four. Five, six. We should survive. We should survive even without it. Uh, we've got the cat to block with here. But I would obviously want to put the cat in when we could sack it with the... Which is oven, so... We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We should be alright though. What a strange game here we have, man. I, if we would have just drawn what we needed, which was Vitality early or Blood on the Snow, like, we'd be well ahead of our opponent here, but, uh, our draws have just been not great today. Not great.
But I'm happy to block the Moon Dancer and the Protector and take all of these 1 1 hits. It's all about how do I actually finish my opponent off on this next turn here. That's the real question. Can we somehow get a blood on the snow? Wow, they, they let it go, huh? Alright, they still have no flyers. Man, my brain is frying right now. It's like, can I just top deck what I need? That would be fantastic. Alright, let's see here. That's not what I need. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Um... Could drop another fell stinger here. Four, five, six, seven. Blood on the snow would not be able to get played. But I can exile something. I exile that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we block all. Four, five, six, seven. I play the Fell Stinger. I just don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive this, but we're going to try our best, I suppose. I think I'm going to take the Protector. I think it's a better card. I think it's a better card than the Moon Dancer for us. The Moon Dancer dies regardless. It dies regardless to our uh, Death Touchers. So we're going to play the Protector. And we're going to pass the turn. We got plenty of bodies to block with here. And we're going to protect our life total. We're going to plus with Tybalt next turn, which is going to get us a little bit deeper into our deck. We're still looking for... Believe it or not, we're still looking for blood on the snow because what we could do is we can actually tap our protector, sacrificing something, giving it indestructibility, and then blowing up the board. So that's the goal. And they waste all their mana to throw away a card here, which means they drew mana. That's really good for us. It was a ball of recovery. Interesting. What a saucy game this is turning out to be, huh? Oh, that's a really cool effect I didn't actually see. I forgot that card can do that. It's not bad. Make sure we get our one point of damage here. Got the Cauldron Familiar, which is oven combo going, which feels so great. We don't get what we need at all there. That's also not what we need. Oh, brother. At least the Voice of the Bless is going to actually get bigger because we have the Witch's Oven combo going. Okay. Big yikes, big yikes. We're attacking with the predator here because it has vigilance. And we end our turn. They're down to five. And here's where things get crazy. Can we protect ourselves? They have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven creatures. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we should be fine. We should be able to survive this next attack. And we win the game. Unless they drop something crazy that I'm not expecting here.
I don't know. I don't know what it could be, but let's just hope for the best here. That gives all their creatures indestructibility. That's not bad. <laughs> That's actually not a bad draw. That's going to put me on my back foot here. Actually. Wow, that's actually really good because now they can at block as well on the predator on the on the backswing. Oh no, this is not good. They can swing all here, pretty much decimate my board because I'm gonna have to make blocks, and then everything they have survives. We attack with the predator. They have two blockers. Wow, that's pretty good. If I do say so myself, that is pretty. Good. Wait, what am I doing? These need to go against the biggest ones here first. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is actually happening right now. They drew the actual nuts. All right. Oh, we're missing one. Okay. Do that. Let's do that. They take one. The voice of the blessed gets a little bigger. Okay. We make the blocks and let's see if we can't just attack and kill them somehow. A lot of our stuff actually survived, which I'm pretty shocked about. That's not bad, actually. That's, um... That's something, because they've only got one, two, three blockers here. Three blockers, and if I play the... Oh, first, let's see what we get with t This is actually... Actually, we might want to minus one of those angels away. And actually we win. What am I saying? We win. Let's go. Let's go, baby. It's got indestructible, I know. But they might mess up. Oh, we already won. I'm just playing. I'm just playing out all my cards because I'm excited. Whenever you win and you know you've won, you still want to play out your hand because it's like, let's just play it out and see what happens here. Uh, they might. They might rope us in retaliation, though. <laughs> okay, cool. They don't. All right, GG's, my friend. What a game that was. Clerics, 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 man. People can't get enough of clerics right now. I don't blame them. They're pretty sweet. G G. That's going to do it for today's gameplay footage. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. I really appreciate each and every single one of you for making it this far into the video. It absolutely means the world to me. It, it helps the video so much when you make it this far into the video. So thank you so much. It, it, the algorithm loves to see that and they push my content out to, you know, more people. So thank you so much. Much appreciated. Um, let's go ahead and talk about today's list a little bit here. So. Obviously, this list could be a lot better. There are ways to make this list so much better than it already is. I personally like to make decks that are a little more original um, that you don't see too often. I like to play cards that most people aren't playing. Things like Tybalt, for instance, right? This new Tybalt is awesome. And it, it goes really well in certain shells. We actually made another Rakdos list not that far back. And it was more of like a burn Rakdos list. And this actually fit into that deck extremely well. But... In today's list, it didn't make the most sense to have it in, in the list. It didn't really synergize as well because basically the spell book, right? The spell book is more of a, you know, like I said, a burn style of a spell book. Uh, the plus one where you deal three damage is really nice on this card, but it's not always great against super tough creatures, especially when we're talking about big buff clerics or, you know, mono green. Um, so this doesn't make all the sense in the world to have in the deck. 
Um, also, the witch is really, really nice, and we, we hit that cat oven combo, but this could be so much better, obviously, if we just add in one additional card. Um, let me go and show you guys the card I'm talking about. Um, it is the brush stroke. Where is it at? There it is. The, the sanguine brush stroke. This card right here is really, really good, paired up with the witch. Um, it's obviously ran in a lot of mono black lists. So if you want to add this into the deck, you could probably get a lot more value out of this card, you know, when running things like the witch, because if you do somehow manage to hit that witch oven with the cat oven combo, you're going to get, you know, a really good blood artist essentially. So this is a really nice card to put into the deck. If you're, tr if you're trying to go a little bit more sweaty, try hard mode and, uh, you know, play the deck, you know, by the book. That's what you really want to do. Um, I personally love playing both of these Tibbles. I think shaving down, you know, these Tibbles, maybe adding one more here, adding the brush stroke into the list. Um, you're going to have yourself a much more powerful list. Uh, but if you wanted to just keep, you know, the, the list as it is, I don't blame you. It's, it's a lot more fun. I think personally to play, um, you can also add in things. I didn't actually, um, dive too deep into the mana, uh, the mana, but I actually think you should probably run two field of ruins in this deck. Uh, maybe even potentially a uh, Den of the Bugbear. Um, but uh, we kind of threw the list together a little quickly today, kind of short on time. But uh, just a couple of tune-up things you could do there with the, with the mana base, I'm sure. Um, you could also add in things because, you you know, you really want your Predator to have a lot of sacrificial tools, right? So you can actually add in um, a lot of things. Uh, summon the Pest, I think is what it's called. It's a, a Hunt for the Specimens, right? So Hunt for the Specimens will access a Learn Lesson board. So you can actually drop this in on two here and take out the Vitality as well. And that'll give you another, uh, you know, tool to sacrifice to the Predator, but it also open up a sideboard for you. So there's a lot of really cool tools you can do and uh, you can kind of play with the deck a little bit, but that's all I have to say on the deck right now. But if you guys have any ideas on how to make it better yourself, please, as, as always, leave them in the comments down below. I love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. It really helps a lot as well with the algorithm. So, you know, help yourself to that. And um, lastly, before I get out of here, just want to say a huge shout out and thank you to the Marty Mob as always. Marty Mob, you know, you guys get me through some seriously tough times here on the channel. You know, the, the grind is real, but you guys keep me going, man. And I really appreciate each and every one of you for making the dream, you know, as close, you know, to being a reality as it is. So thank you so much. I really pre appreciate each and every single one of you. And if you guys want to learn more about the Marty Mob and how to become a member, just hit the join button down below or the link in the description. And you guys can learn all about it. You get some added benefits to your account, but you also help support the channel, which is really awesome. So thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you back here on Friday. Till next time. Peace. The name is Fizzy, no Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't cheap.